What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 60 minute strength boot camp. So grab your dumbbells and let's get to work. What's up guys, so excited that you're here for our 60 minute boot camp today. Got my dumbbells, I'm ready, but before we start, today is gonna be the very last day to submit your five to 15 second video of your name, where you're from, and how this channel has either impacted you, helped you in your fitness journey, or changed your life in some way, okay? Dustin has a quick example video right here. Hi, my name is Dustin, and I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, in the United States. Hi, my name is Dustin, and I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, in the United States. And Sydney, you've helped me lose 15 pounds. All right, so hopefully that gives you a gist of kind of what we're looking for. Um, just your name, where you're from, and this channel has helped me in this way, okay? The email just to send that video to is gonna be right here, mail at royalchange.fit, and we're gonna be submitting those, or cutting off those today. So today is the last day to do that. We appreciate so much everyone who has sent their videos in. As this community continues to grow, I want this About Me video that you're submitting these videos for to incorporate the whole community because that's how we have grown is together as a squad, as the Sydney squad, right? So thank you so much for the videos and thank you to the, everyone who's thinking about sending them in. I cannot wait to see yours as well. Okay, before we get started, I have dumbbells. It's a strength workout, so I've got some variety. I've got eights, 15s, and 20s. We're gonna be working on our shoulders and our back and our hamstrings and glutes. So hamstrings and glutes can usually tolerate a little bit more weight than your shoulders. So grab a couple different options. Um, I have eight, 15, and 20, like I said, and then a sweat towel and some water bottle, and a water bottle, all right? Let's go ahead and get started with a quick warm up. You guys are ready? Yes? All right, here we go. Let's go with butt kicks first, working your arms and your legs in three, two, one, here we go. All right, get the hamstrings working. You're pulling your heels up to your glutes. Good job. Not a lot of impact today, okay? So we're not gonna be jumping around too much. Three, two, one, all right, hands on your hips. We're gonna hinge back and forth. So reach your hips back, activate your glutes to squeeze them back forward. And let's reach and squeeze. Okay, not a lot of impact today. There won't be any jumping. Since it's a strength workout, shoulders and back, definitely won't be jumping in that. But in your hamstrings and glutes, we're gonna be isolating in a lot of deadlifts. Okay, a lot of thrusters, a lot of glute pulses. Give me two more. There's one. And two, great job. Let's step it back and go hamstring high kicks. Kicking up top here. I will say, today's technique will be very important, okay? The more weight you lift, the more crucial it is to make sure you're lifting in the right way. Okay, I've had a ton of friends. For some reason, this past week, actually, I've had a lot of new clients who just say, I don't approach the weights because I really don't know how to lift them and I don't know what to do. So, that's why I'm here, okay? So make sure you share this video with a friend because a lot more people than we realize just don't approach strength training because they're just not sure how to, okay? So hopefully this gives you a really great lesson today. Good, go ahead and rest. Let's circle your shoulders backwards on how to hit some shoulders and back and leg exercises. Okay, my very favorite parts of the body to hit are shoulders and hamstrings and glutes, legs in general. So, it's gonna be a fun workout for both of us. Good, cross your body over the chest. There you go. And as you cross your body, I want you to reach out forward, open your back, and close it. Okay, a little bit more exaggerated here. Open. Close, open, close. There you go. Feeling your back muscles open up right around your shoulder blades. Good job. Three, two, one. All right, let's reach up and over. the back of the shoulder here a little bit as well as your lat muscle okay it all kind of ties in to the upper body and I'm 
going to take a minute to explain your workout here. It is boot camp style, so we'll be going in circuits with a finishing circuit for each set of four exercises with 30, 30, 30, 30, okay? So, I'll explain first. Your first set, we have bent arm lateral flies. Okay, I'll demo each one. Bent arm lateral, okay? So bending your arms, lifting your elbows out to the side, okay? Second move is gonna be a back fly. So you're gonna bend at your waist, dumbbells go back, okay? Next move, single leg Romanian deadlift. This is where we switch over to the hamstrings, okay? One leg at a time. If you need to modify that, just kick that toe back and keep it on the ground, okay? And then the last one is gonna be on the floor, a single leg glute bridge. We're gonna go 45 seconds per exercise, starting here with your bent arm lateral raise in 10 seconds, okay? So grab your lighter dumbbells. We'll start with the bent arm lateral raise together. 45 seconds here in four, three, two, one, let's go. So it is a strength day. We won't be going super fast in tempo, but we'll be going heavier in weight, okay? I'll be preaching technique all day, so listen for the cues. Okay, as far as this one, your setup, your knees are slightly bent, okay? Just so you don't have a problem with your lower back arching. Okay, core is tight. And as far as your arms, I want them to remain bent, okay, even when you go out. So make sure you're not leaving your dumbbells here. They're going up straight, staying straight out from your elbows. Okay, seven more seconds. Three, two, one, 15 seconds rest. Okay, your next move is that back fly. Okay, you're gonna bend forward the setup, hinge at the waist, knees are slightly bent again, starting hanging straight down. Okay, three, two, one, and engage your shoulder blades and lift backwards. Make sure you're not lifting forwards like this. Okay, that's a little bit more shoulder than we want. Okay, think about opening up a, a box. Okay, you're opening it pulling it right up to your chest, okay? As your arms open, you can kind of pulse your chest forward a little bit. Your chest muscles and your back muscles are antagonistic, which means when one of them is relaxed, the other one is working. They can't work at the same time. So as you squeeze your back muscles together, just relax your chest, okay? Good, think shoulder blades together. We've got three, two, one, and rest. This is where you can bump up your weight. Single leg Romanian deadlift. Okay, I'm gonna go with my 20s. Pick a weight that works for you. One leg at a time and we're gonna be alternating. Either lift that back leg or keep your toe down. Ready? Let's go. 45 seconds and just continue to switch. Left, then right. Shoulder blades are drawn together so your back is not rounded. Very flat. Hips are going backwards and forwards. Dig your heel down into the floor as you bring your hips back up to your dumbbells. Great job. Keep it tight. Almost there, seven more seconds. Good, shove them back. And forth, you got it, you got it, rest, good. Okay, just one of those dumbbells if you want. I'll show you the move, single leg. So you're gonna lift the whole first round. We're gonna stay on your left side, okay? If you wanna throw a dumbbell on there, you can. Don't have to first round, ready? Leg up in the air, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, second round, we'll switch over. And then your last round, we're gonna go through one last round of every exercise. 30, 30, 30, 30, nonstop. On that last round, I'm gonna tell you to put both feet down and we're just gonna go here, okay? But as for right now, left leg is rocking. Try to get your hips fully extended from your knee all the way up to your shoulder. Should be a flat line. Almost there, five seconds. Woo, three, two, one. Awesome job, you got 15 seconds rest. And then we're back to your bent arm lateral raises. Okay, 
you need some water, grab it. Come back in in four, three, two. All right, let's go. Now you can kind of evaluate. Round one, you kind of know the weights that you used. If you can go up, definitely do it. We've got three rounds total, two longer rounds, and then a finishing round. That's it. Finisher round will be 30, 30, 30, 30. Right now we're going 45 on, 15 off. Last round we're gonna crank it out, okay? Get those elbows nice and high. Woo! Good, 10 seconds left, guys, from the side. Bent, keep right at your hips and lift. Good, rest. Alrighty, back fly. Another way to modify this back fly is to take it one arm at a time. When you do that, make sure you're not opening your chest. Okay, chest still points right towards the floor. Two, one, let's go. Slight bend in the arms, squeeze back. Take your time on these, they don't have to be rushed. You do have 45 seconds in which I want you to remain focused on your technique. Some mental cues. Think about the muscle that you're working, getting stronger, okay? Visualize the muscle right beside your shoulder blades, just getting stronger. It's gonna help your posture. It's gonna help all of us who slouch over like this all the time, right, looking at our phones. This is one of those exercises that really benefit your posture. Good, give me one more, and rest, good. Okay, single leg Romanian deadlift. Grab the weight that's appropriate for you. We're going left and right. Big deep breath, three, two, one, let's go. Tuck your abs in. And like I said, modify by placing one leg back, still maintaining that flat back. Okay, if you go here and you're just bending to get your dumbbell towards the ground, all you're using right now is back. Okay, pull those shoulder blades together, flatten it out, and squeeze the glute. Okay, let's go. Tuck your rib cage and your belly button into your spine. That's it, five seconds. Good job, rest. Okay, now we're flipping over to the opposite leg for that single leg deadlift. I use my left leg first round, now I'm gonna switch it to my right leg. Okay, hands down beside your hips. Two, one, let's go. Up, down. And if your leg is way out here and it feels super awkward like you can't get your butt off the ground, pull your heel in a little bit closer to your butt, dig it down, and then press up. Okay, if that's still too tough for you right now, place both heels down, drive your hips up by squeezing your glutes together. It's totally fine if you're not there yet. What's not fine is just not doing it in general. Okay, I will find a way to make it work for you. You just gotta make it work for yourself, okay? Whatever level that is, we are going for it. Squeeze that glute high, get the hip way up. Three, two, one. Okay, 15 seconds rest. Grab a quick drink. We're going into 30 seconds of your bent arm raise. Here we go, five. Two, one, let's go. Just 30 seconds straight. Now after this, you're going no break, right into your back fly, the bent over back fly. Okay, from the side. You're breathing, knees are just a little bit bent. Last time through, so turn it up if you can, okay? Which I know you can. Nine, eight, seven, three, two, one. Bend at the waist, drop the dumbbell straight down, and let's squeeze back. No rest here. For your Romanian deadlifts after this, they were single leg the first two rounds. We're gonna keep that the same. Alternate left and right, okay? 10 seconds. Be ready to switch dumbbells. 
In three, two, okay, five second transition time. Grab your heavy dumbbells and go right into it. Single leg, here we go. 30 seconds. Don't rush the technique, that's always the most important, but don't stop, okay? When we go into this glute bridge next, both feet are on the ground and we're gonna crank it out. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Have a seat, both feet down. Let's stay up top, hold right here for 30 seconds. Squeeze, 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 like you're trying to crush a walnut between your cheeks, right? You're trying to hold onto a piece of paper, don't let it fall. 15 seconds, even higher. Dig your heels down, lift, 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 lift. Come on, 10, nine, push the heels down harder. Five, four, three, two, one, and drop. Whew. 30 seconds rest, great job guys. Now's your time to grab some water. Your first exercise of the next round is gonna be a bent arm open and close. So keeping that bent arm position. In 15 seconds we'll go together, going to your face, hands are facing your face, open, close. Okay, keeping that tension on your shoulders the entire time. Five seconds, go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Three, two, one, open and close. 45 seconds here. There you go. Slight bend in the knee, just as we did the first round on your bent arm lateral raises. Good work. Keep the elbows even with the shoulders, so don't let them drop down here, okay? Keep them right up top. 10 more seconds. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Your next exercise, 15 seconds rest, is bent arm rows. You're gonna go left and right, so grab the dumbbell that's good for you on that weight. I'm gonna go up to my 15s, since we have 45 seconds. Okay, here we go, left and right, two, one, let's bend forward just like you did first round. And pull. The quality of the pull is gonna be more important than the quantity that you get in during this 45 seconds. Just like always, quality over quantity. Keep your chest facing forward, on facing the ground. Make sure that you initiate the movement with a shoulder blade Elevation, okay, see this motion here? That's how I want you to start the rep. Here, and then your arm bends. Seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. You're gonna drop those dumbbells down in front of you, okay? Placing your hands on top, I want you to lift your right leg up, and in five seconds, we're just gonna bend and straighten. Okay, keep your toe pointed. Two, one, let's go. And make sure your knee doesn't start to fall here, right? Keep your knee equal with your spine. Think of your toe as drawing a rainbow arch. Up and over, up and over. That's it. Keep the knee up, pull it up a little more. It will tend to fall as your leg gets tired. That's expected, you've got 20 seconds. Arch it up and over, up and over, come on. Shaking a little bit, me too. We've got seven seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, take note of which leg you just used. Second round, we're gonna use the other leg, all right? Next exercise is a dumbbell swing. So, I'm gonna use my heavy dumbbell. Gripping it by the top. I'm gonna reach back and forth. Okay, two, one, let's go. Hips hinge back, extend to the top. Okay. Reach and extend, reach, extend. 
flat back, dig the heels down. If you have a kettlebell, you can have that option as well. Good job. Think about your hips. They go back and they come forward. They're not dropping up and down, just back and forth. Seven, six, three, two, last one. Rest, come down, sit it out in front of you. Great job. Woo. Okay, we're back to the bent arm open and close. All right, two, one, let's go. Round number two, 45 seconds right here. We're back to the shoulders. Not a lot of rest, because I want to get as much time under tension as I can with you today. We've got four main muscle groups, and I want to work those muscle groups as much as we can. Make sure you're breathing. You've got 15 seconds, and you're done with round two of these guys. We got it. Keep breathing. Five, four, whoop, three, two, one, rest. Okay, alternating bent arm rows. Five seconds. All right, here we go. Two, one, let's go. Drive it and drive it. And if you have something at home like a bench or a coffee table and you just want to do one arm at a time, you can always put your hand here and then row over here, okay? Just another option, but make sure you break it up to where you're getting equal work on both arms. Sometimes that helps stabilize the low back. If you feel a lot of low back pressure here that you're not used to, just throw your hand on a couch or a bench or a table. Good. You've got 10 seconds left on this one. Sometimes I'll rest my dumbbells right here on the front of my thighs in between reps just to make sure everything stays nice and tight. Okay, two. One, rest. Put your dumbbells down. We're going for that hamstring curl. Okay, so this time I'm going with my left leg. Go with whatever leg you did not use first round. Then three, two, hands on your dumbbell. One, let's go. Up and over with that toe. Okay, so you wanna think of the actual action of contracting a muscle is the shortening of its fibers, right? The actin and myosin fibers are shortening. We're coming together. So when you think of this muscle, when your leg is straight, it is at its longest point. When you bring your toe in, that is its shortest point. Okay, that's the entire uh, kinesiology of working out, a shortening of a muscle or a contraction of a muscle. Okay, so think of it fully extended and then I want it fully shortened, squeezing as hard as you can. Great job, rest. Whew. Okay, last round, or last one in this second round, dumbbell swings. Okay, I want you to place an emphasis on going back and forth with your hips, not up and down, back and forth. Ready, let's go. Grab the dumbbell that you can manage. Keep your core tight. Just give me a really good squeeze in your cheeks. When you come out to chest level with your weight, your cheeks should be fully contracted. There we go, 15 seconds. Good, keep a nice strong back as well. Four, three, Two, one, okay, rest. Whoops. All right, last round, you know what's coming. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Okay, last round of your bent arm open and close in four, two, one, let's go. Just 30 right here. Right after this, we're going into 30 seconds of bent arm rows, alternating left and right. On the hamstring curls, I'm gonna divide it in half for us. 15 seconds on one leg, I'll say switch. 15 seconds on the other. 
and then we'll finish out with some dumbbell swings. Four, three, alternating bent over rows, two, one, let's go. If you need to switch, go for it and come right into it with me. Keep the back nice and tight. Engage your glutes here. Anytime you feel your lower back tightening up, try to engage your glute muscles. Try to shift the weight back to them. Okay, going into that hamstring curl. Right leg first in three, two, dumbbells down. Lift it up, curl the right leg. I'll tell you to switch at the 15 second mark. Four, three, two, one, and switch. Lift the heel up and down, up and down. Don't let your knee fall. That is its lever point, okay? The knee is the constant axis. Don't let it fall down. Two, one, dumbbell swings, go right into it. Final round. Reach, squeeze, reach, squeeze. That's it, 15 seconds. Squeeze, give me lots of hip power. Drive, drive. That's it, come on, five, three, two, one, and rest. Great job, all right. Big deep breath. I want you to grab some water. You've got 30 seconds and rest. Whoa, didn't put the lid on my water, that was dangerous. <laughs> okay, 15 seconds, we're gonna go front raise and side raise. So, lighter set of dumbbells, okay? Going both arms at the same time. Let's start with the side. Ready, here we go. 45 seconds here. Up, down, up, down. Now don't go any higher than your shoulders, okay? Just parallel with the floor. That's it. Good, 15 more seconds. Sorry, 20 seconds, bad math. <laughs> Good reps here. Okay, five more seconds. Good job. Rest. Okay, kneeling rows. I want you to come down, grab another set of dumbbells that's a little bit heavier, okay? You're gonna go on all fours, alternating left and right, okay? Two, one, let's go. Left, so on this one, you've gotta control the dumbbell on the way down. A little bit different sensation where the control has to be really good on the way down. The eccentric and the concentric portion of this lift. So the lift and the lower both have to be in complete control by you. Good job. 15 more seconds, guys. Remember, the initiator to the movement is pulling that shoulder blade over. That's it, five seconds, and I want you to stay here on all fours. Two, one, rest. Okay, now you can use a lighter dumbbell for this, and I want you to clamp it right behind your left leg. Squeezing that dumbbell between your thigh and your calf. We're lifting right here. Okay, two, one, let's go. Keep your abs tight. Make sure your other hip isn't going out to the side. Spine stays straight. The whole goal here is to squeeze the dumbbell so your hamstring is squeezing tight. Good, pull your core in. Make sure you're not totally arching your stomach down, okay? Pull it up and in. Modification here is, of course, just the body weight. Okay, three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Okay, last one, you can come back up. 
we're gonna go Romanian deadlift with a wide plie stance, and that's gonna target your glute max. Okay, so come on up top, turn your toes out, slight bend in the knee, dumbbells out front, hinge your hips backwards, squeeze your cheeks to get them back forward. Okay, keep rocking. So wide stance, if you wanna think, put your hips back, squeeze them back up to the dumbbells. Okay, there's gotta be an activation of the glutes at the top. I know it sounds strange, but you have to squeeze those cheeks together. There you go. The harder you squeeze, the more you get out of it. There you go. Three seconds, two, one. All right, rest, great job. We're back to the front and side raises. In nine seconds. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Front raise and side raise. Same thing here, don't let your dumbbells slam back down onto your legs, okay? I want total control all the way up and all the way down. That's it. Make sure your arms have just enough bend to where your elbows are not locked. Okay, I see a lot of people going here and keeping their arms straight and depending on their joints. That's not what the lift is about. Okay, it's not great for your elbow also. Think about the initiation of the move. How do you start the move? Contract the shoulder and lift. Three, two, one, and rest. Come on down onto all fours. We're back to the kneeling bent over row. Back to your back. Same thing, how do you start the movement? This shoulder blade is going to lift and then you pull. Okay, ready, let's go. Plant your knees hip width apart so you're not off balance. Control it up, control it down. I want a silent placement back on the floor. When you bring it down slowly, I don't even want to hear the dumbbell hit the floor. You have so much control that it sounds like you're setting a pin down. Okay? Ten more seconds. I say that because I felt myself going down too fast. Okay? That helps me. Quiet placement. Two, one, rest. Okay, back to the hamstring curl lift. First round, we did our left leg. This round, you're putting that dumbbell behind your right leg. Okay, squeeze it with your calf, coming up to the uh, back of your hamstring. We're lifting together, let's go. There you go. Try to pull your belly in. That's it, squeeze tight. Do not let that dumbbell fall. That's it, almost there. Lift, lift, you got 15 seconds. Good, keep breathing out. Four, three, two, one, great job. Back to those wide stands, deadlifts. Okay, come on up with a weight that you can control. Wide plie stance. And four, three, toes are turned out. Two, one, little bend in the knees. Glide the hips back. Squeeze the cheeks at the top. Okay, from the side. Nice wide stance. Hips go back. And notice my dumbbells, they just go right down in front of my legs, okay? So they're not way out front. And give me a nice, tight squeeze. Good job. We've got 15 seconds. Don't let your lower back arch. Reach and squeeze. Good job. Five, four, two, one, rest. Okay, 30 second round of all four. 
Whew. All right, nine seconds. You're going to your front side raise for 30 seconds. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Three, two, one, let's do it. Front and side. Now, because this is more than likely the weight that you're gonna be using for your hamstring curls, keep it close to you, okay? We're going for the kneeling rows next, but keep these weights down close so you can shove them behind your hamstrings for that third exercise, okay? Three, two, one. Come on down for the kneeling row and go right into it. 30 seconds of work here. That's it. Good. Start the move with the high pull. That's it, 10 more seconds. You're gonna throw the dumbbells behind your hamstrings. We're gonna do alternating legs. So left leg, right leg. Left leg, right leg. Two, one, all right. Dumbbells behind you. You can spread your legs just a little bit wider. Grip them both, right, left. There you go, take your time, press hard into the floor. Don't let your lip, your hips go left and right. Good, five seconds, you're gonna grab those heavy dumbbells, come up for the wide stance deadlift. All right, go ahead and move these guys out of the way. Last round, the last 30 seconds, wide deadlift. Good, good, come on. That's it, seven seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Great job. All right. Whew. Grab some water, grab a towel. Towel off all that sweat you're working hard to produce. <laughs> all right, the next move we're gonna start with, good old shoulder press. Alternating left and right. Okay, 10 seconds. You guys ready? Shoulder press is up first. Three, two, hands facing me. Let's go, right, left, right? And you're pressing until the dumbbell is right over the crown of your head. Okay, if you get out here, it gets really hard for your shoulder to stabilize at the top, okay? If it's right over its socket or right over your shoulder, it's a lot easier to control at the top. Great job. Good, 15 more seconds. Here you go, we got it, come on, come on. Five, three, two, one, rest. I want you to grab your lighter set of dumbbells here. You've got 15 seconds, and we're going for a wide bent over row. So turn your palms until they're facing behind you, and I want you to come out to the side, out to the side, okay? Making a 90 degree angle with your arms in that bent over position, okay? Go ahead and bend forward, let's go. So different than when your elbows were gliding backwards, they're gliding out to the side now. Engaging your rhomboid, this is also engaging the posterior deltoids, so the back part of your shoulder. Come back to the middle, drive the elbow out and then up. Good. Seven seconds. Good, good, three, two, last one, rest, good. All right, the next one is gonna be a staggered Romanian deadlift, okay? So this one, let's take your right leg out front. Left leg is gonna be diagonal behind it, so think of a half curtsy lunge, okay? And then we're going right around that front leg for a single leg Romanian deadlift, okay? What you'll notice from the front, or from the side, is that my hip still goes back, and forth. I've got that back leg back there to control how far back it goes. 
but there is a hinge of the hip, right? Now take it over to the side. It's not directly behind your foot, but it's a little bit beside it. Okay, so you're not standing on railroad tracks, right? There's a separation. Good. Almost there, five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, dumbbells down on the floor. You're gonna have a seat right in front of them. Okay, placing your hands back on the dumbbell. In 15 seconds, we're just going up for a hip thruster. Okay, right here and down. Ready? Let's go. 45 seconds, touch down, lift until there's a flat line from your knee to your shoulder and sit. Squeeze underneath. And if this is uncomfortable for your hands, just take them out to the side, fingertips pointed out, and lift that way, okay? I find it helps me get a little bit higher off the ground if I have my hands up here on the dumbbells. If you're feeling this in your back, I need you to challenge you to squeeze those cheeks even harder, okay? There you go, five seconds. Two, one, and rest. Okay, 15 seconds rest. We're going back up to the top for round two, shoulder press. You guys still with me? I know this is a long workout. It's a strength workout, so it's mentally very demanding. I need you to stay with me. We're going back to shoulder press. Two, one, you can do it, let's go. Strength workouts are, I would say 50-50 between physical and mental strength, okay? I talked a little bit, maybe a month ago, about how strength is very mental in the way that sometimes we just set barriers for ourselves. All right, this is the way I think I can use. Can't go heavier, there's no way possible. And then how many times have you tried it? And you're like, oh, okay. So don't underestimate yourself. Don't go into the second round thinking, oh my gosh, it's only round two, right? You're fine, you're okay. You're stronger than you think. Three. Two, one, rest. Good job. Coming down for those bent wide rows. So probably your lighter set of dumbbells. Remember these? Out to the side. If you want to make it a little bit harder, obviously go up and wait, but also you can go both arms at the same time. Okay, let's go. The single arm the unilateral training does help you focus on one side at a time. So this helps to work on any imbalances that you may have. Keep your core tight. Do not let your rib cage open up. Okay, it's easy to go here, right? Don't let your rib cage open. Engage your core, dig your heels down, drive that elbow out, up, out, up. There we go, 10 seconds. Come on, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. We've got the staggered Romanian deadlift. Okay, I had my right leg out front last, so this time I'm gonna have my left leg out front. I'll tell you guys a story about these shorts when we're done with the workout. Okay, two, one, let's go. Back and behind, hip goes back, hip squeezes forward. I want you to feel that stretch and I want you to feel the re-engagement of the glute. Okay, squeeze. If this just doesn't feel comfortable for you, just go for a regular Romanian deadlift, okay? If you need that modification, definitely go for it. It's your workout. I want you to stay safe. I want you to feel good. Not good as in this is easy, but you know, good in terms of no injuries. <laughs> Reach, squeeze. That's it, five seconds. And you're going down for the hip thrusters. Two, one, rest, good. Place your dumbbells down, right outside your feet. Step in front, and we're back up to the hip thrusters. You guys are doing great. Whew. This is circuit number four out of five, so we are so close. Two, one, let's go. After this, we'll jump into our 30 second round of each exercise, starting with shoulder press. Okay, you've got 15 seconds rest, of course. If this is hurting your back, remember, 
Get your hips off the ground and then practice just squeezing your glutes, okay? Even if you don't come all the way up. I just want you to feel that contraction of glutes coming together. 15 seconds. Really dig the heels down. That's it, come on, it's your workout. Let's rock it out. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, mentally prepare for that last round. We've got shoulder press first. Three, two, one, let's go. Last 30. The least amount of time here, so if you can go heavier, go for it. 15 seconds left. You're going wide, bent over rows in 10 seconds. I'm gonna challenge myself to stay with this 15 pound weight instead of dropping down. Three, two, one. Bend straight forward, one arm at a time. Out and then up. Yes, come on, we can do it. Don't shift. Keep your belly button right in between your toes. Out, up. Out, up. Yes, come on. We can do it. That's it, seven seconds. You're gonna keep that Romanian deadlift going. Heels together. Go right outside your legs. Here and up, okay? Not enough time to really go half and half on the stagger. So let's just go heels together. Close stance. Push your glutes out at the back. Reach them and squeeze them. Good. 10 more seconds. Let's go, come on. Eight, seven, six. Last one. Three, two, one. Place your dumbbells down. Have a seat in front. And let's go hip thruster, hold. Okay, bridge up. Squeeze right here. Squeeze your cheeks together. I know you feel like your hips are up. Now go cheeks together. You'll feel a little shake if you're doing it right. Heels down, toes are up. Wiggle your toes. Can you wiggle your toes? Okay, you're doing it right then. Five, four, three, two, and rest. We've got 30 seconds rest, guys. We are at that last circuit already. Whew. This is flying by. I love these type of workouts. I couldn't tell. Boot camps plus strength workouts, definitely my jam. I love it. Okay, we're starting with a closed shoulder press. Grab your dumbbells, close them together right in front of your chest. Tap your chest and then press up overhead. Let's go. Now what I don't want is this. Do not arch your back like that, okay? Bend your knees just a little bit. Okay, a slight little brace at the bottom if you need to. Do not arch that lower back. Keep your core tight. When it comes down, squeeze your abs and press. Okay, that's it. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, lighter set of dumbbells. We're gonna call this the pendulum fly, okay? Arms are gonna be straight. Last round, they came out bent. This round, we're going one at a time. So, back fly, going one, Two, okay? Don't let your dumbbells hit each other. Just come back to the middle and release the other arm. Notice my palm is facing behind me. Cross it over. And in front, and in front. So each time it comes back down, it goes to the front of the stack, and your other arm shoots out, okay? Good, good, good. 15 seconds. Squeeze that back, come on. Modification, go bent arm again. Okay, if you need to, you can bend your arms. Good, five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. 
Come on down onto all fours. Great job. Taking your left leg up off the ground. Keeping that bent stance. You're gonna drive and drop, okay? At the top, you're reaching straight. Come back in, bent. Okay, let's go. Curl, release. Curl, release. Adjust your hips so that they're not opening right here. This is different than here. Keep it here. Both hips are facing the floor. Squeeze at the bottom, your leg together, and then open it up. Good. 15. Squeeze together. Open. Together. Open. Good. Squeeze tight and open. Four, three, two, one. Stay down here on all fours. Same leg. You're straightening it. It's touching off to the back. Touching the floor. You're lifting. Lifting. It stays straight the whole time. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's lift. Up. Whoops. Up. Up. Keep your toe pointed towards the floor. Do not let your hip open up. You will start to feel it on this opposite side glute, right? Over here, the leg that's stabilizing. That's okay. You're all right. We are okay. This is our last circuit, so last one of round one. We can make it. Get in your zone, right? Focus. Good, five, four, come on, three, two, one, rest. Ha, ah, okay, come on back up, round number two. We're back to the closed arm, chest, or chest press, shoulder press, chest press. Stay with our medium weight if you can. Come back together, two, one, slight bend in the knee, go up, down. Okay, from the side. Pull your abs in tight when you lower those dumbbells. Exhale as you shoot them up over your head. On this one, there's a lot going on, right? You feel your chest squeezing those dumbbells. You feel your triceps when your elbows come out front of your body. On the way down, you feel the posterior deltoid on the way up. You feel the anterior deltoid. It's a lot going on. Four, three, last press. Rest. Good job. Back flies, pendulum back flies. Whew. You're doing great, guys. Round number two, if you can. Let's go out straight arm. If not, go bent arm. That's totally fine. Let's go. Out and out. Now, pendulum does not literally mean all the way over and across. You will hurt your shoulder if you come out with no control. Okay, go up, control down. You're gonna end up right in front of your belly button. Lift and lift. Think of getting your pinky to the ceiling. Drive that pinky up, come on. Everyone wants that nice toned back. How many brides are out there looking for a beautiful back in your wedding dress, right? How many people are, it's summer where you live and you wanna look nice in your tank tops, nice in those muscle shirts. All right, this is a great move for the back and the back of your shoulders. Rest, okay, come on down, all fours. We're going for the right leg this time. So start with a bend. Remember, you're here, you're bent, and you're reaching. Bent, reaching, all right, let's go. Bend, extend. Bend, extend, and I want in the bend, in this bent position, I want you to squeeze your heel to your glute. So there is a hamstring contraction here. Squeeze tight and release. Tight, release. So in the bend, think about bending and then shooting your foot straight out across the floor until it's straight, and then lifting. Bend, shoot, lift. Okay. Good job. That's it. Two, one, and rest. 
Whew. All right, you know what's next. Last round. Guess what we're gonna do? 45 seconds of each one. This is it, okay? Start back with your clip. No, we skipped one. Sorry, come on back down. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Come on back. Straight leg and lift. My bad, guys. Sorry about that. At the end, we are gonna do 45 seconds of each one of these moves. Sorry about that, guys. Good, straight leg, tap, lift, tap, lift. Hopefully you guys are on your game and you caught that before I did. <laughs> I'm excited for the last round, I guess. I'm always excited to push myself with you guys. I know it's gonna be a challenge. I'm just ready to get there and tackle it <laughs> so we can get through it together and come out the other side <sighs> together. And rest. Okay, now we're going 45 seconds of each one, nonstop. Okay, so judge accordingly. In eight seconds, we'll start with that chest to overhead press. All right, I've got your time, just rock with me. Two, one, let's go up, up, down. <sighs> Quality over quantity, remember? Pull the abs in the whole time. Slight bend in your knees. Good. End up all the way overhead. Your head is through your arms. Are you pulling your abs in? Yes? Okay, 15 more seconds, we got it. Push, come on. Feel the shoulders. Lowering and lifting. Four, three, pendulum back flies. Let's go ahead and switch dumbbells. 45 seconds from right now. Okay, let's go. Good. Lift, come back to the front. Lift, come to the front. Your objective is to get your pinky high. So, try to get parallel with the floor. Keep your chest still. Squeeze your abs in. That's it. 15 more seconds. And then we're going for hamstring curl and lift. We'll start with the left. Halfway through, we'll switch to the right, okay? Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, come on down. All body weight at the end. Left leg, curl and lift. Let's go. Curl, shoot it out, and then lift it. Good job. I think we should stay here, right? And go right into our glute lift. I think that's a better idea. Okay? In 20 seconds, you're gonna stay here and we're just gonna lift and lift, okay? It's the last round, we gotta spice it up. Crunch, lift. Squeeze, lift. 10 seconds. And you're gonna leave that leg straight, toe tapping out back, and we're gonna lift. Four, three, two, one, leave it here. Up, up, up. Let's see if we can catch this beat, okay? Press down in your hands. Up, up, up. That's it. 15 seconds down, up, up. Come on, it's the last round. Lift, lift, lift. Now don't slow down. That's it, pull the abs in. How long can you go without stopping? 15 more seconds? I think you can. Up, 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 come on, 10 seconds, and we're gonna switch to the other leg, hamstring curl and lift. Five, four, three, two, okay, switch it over. Squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift. Guys, this is the last one minute and 30 seconds of your workout. You can do that. In and out, come on. In, push out, in, push out. That's it. Squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift. Come on, we're right there. 15 more seconds and you're gonna extend that leg and just lift, lift, lift. 10, nine, Eight, get ready. Four, good job. Two, one, keep it straight. 
Heel to the ceiling. Up, up, up. That's it. Same pace for the whole 45 seconds. Pull the abs in, lift, lift, lift. Come on, this is it. 30 seconds, don't slow down, keep it up. Up, up, don't touch the floor now. Keep it high, higher, higher. There we go. Heel up, belly button in. 15 seconds, can you go up even higher? Up, stay there, up, up. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend your legs, come down into child's pose and reach your hands out forward. Guys, we've made it through our 60 minute boot camp. We've got a minute and a half to cool down, so stay with me here. You've allocated 60 minutes, so give me just one more minute together. Cool down is just as important as the warm up. Bring your hands back towards your knees. Straighten your spine up. Okay, tuck your toes down and I want you to push your hips up into the air. Walking your hands back to your toes. Yes, your hamstrings are on fire. Well, mine are at least. Speaking for myself, they're burning. Stay here for just a second. Just a little tip, a little knowledge bomb. This isn't really a knowledge bomb, I guess, but your hamstrings are probably gonna be sore in the next couple days. Not tomorrow, but the next day, okay? That two days delayed onset muscle soreness, or DOMS for short, that will happen in about two days, if not today and tomorrow also. Slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Bend your knees just a tiny bit. Roll it up. And let's go backwards arm circles. So continue to stretch. That's what I wanted to tell you. I'm gonna put stretch videos at the end of this video. Okay, continue to stretch. If you have a resistance band, those are gonna be your savior for the next couple days. Loop it around your foot, lay on your back, and pull your leg to your face, okay? As the time rolls down to zero, big deep breath. I have a playlist full of stretch videos, okay? I'm gonna link it at the end here. I know we went for 60 minutes, but if you need a little bit deeper of a stretch, I'll link the stretch videos at the end. Also, it's the last day. Think seriously, consider seriously about sending in a video, helping me out with that About Me video that Dustin's gonna put together. I don't wanna keep you too long. I know your time is precious, but I appreciate you so much, guys. Thank you for rocking this 60 minute workout out with me. Think about submitting your five to 15 second video to the email address here. It'll also be in the very first line of the description. So if you want to, if you feel so compelled to change, to tell me how this workout or these workouts have changed your life. Sorry, <sighs> big deep breath, Sydney. <sighs> okay, if you feel compelled, I would appreciate it so much. Like I said, you guys are the reason that we're growing because we're growing together. I don't ever want the notoriety for no reason. I just wanna change more lives, okay? And together, we are doing that. Dustin and I are so thankful for you guys. I'm gonna link some stretch videos right here if you want a little bit of ab workout. I'm gonna put an ab playlist down here at the bottom. And don't forget before you head out to click subscribe so we can keep growing, keep heading higher and higher in the number of people and lives that we are changing together. All right guys, have a great day. Thank you so much.